So one of the biggest weaknesses of the MiG-29 has always been its uh, weapon system and its radar. Its radar is not the, the greatest thing out there. But the missiles available to the MiG-29 were also not great. So I found this little mod that allows us to put the R-33 onto the MiG-29. For those of you unaware, the R-33 is the thing from the uh, MiG-31. So these are the MiG-31 missiles that I've strapped onto the MiG-29. And uh, I kind of want to see how it changes the performance of the MiG-29, if at all. If it makes it any in any way better if they had just put, you know, better missiles onto this thing. Um, they are Fox 1s, so, you know, there's no way around that. You still have to maintain the lock all the way to, to impact. We're climbing here, and we're just going to avoid the contrails. I just remembered about those. We don't want to hit the cons. We're going to sit just below them. And uh, we're fighting a Hornet today, an F-18 Hornet. He's got the AMRAM 120 Charlie, of course. Now, the, the R-33 should not be confused with the R-37 hypersonic missile that the MiG-31 carries. As well, this is the predecessor to that missile. It's the first long-range one that they built for the MiG-31. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get a lock on him here. I do have him on radar. And he's got me locked. Which means he's probably got an AMRAM out. No, it's a hard lock, so I would hear it. I would hear the launch. There we go, I got him locked. And we're maybe like 60 kilometers, it looks like. And we'd like to get just a little bit closer before we launch this. Get a little bit better probability of kill. Ah, oh, we'll just shoot it right here. Fox 1. And we have to defend. We want to get out of the high altitude because that just makes us an easy target. Uh, I do have to maintain lock. Remember that this is a Fox 1 semi active radar homing. His Fox 3 is, uh, his Fox 3, his AMRAM, uh, is active radar. So he could turn around and go cold to avoid that missile I shot at him. And his AMRAM would probably still find me and try to kill me. I don't have that luxury right so you can already see that even though i have this crazy missile the fact that it's a fox one is a pretty significant disadvantage here we do have the amram i don't know if you heard the the beeping of the rwr it just pitbulled on me there it is now every time i point my belly at it it goes away that's the rwr blind spot i point the wing back we're clear it was on our left side three nine line we're gonna go ahead and try to recommit here we're clean from that last amram I need to recommit quickly. It's going to be critically important who gets nose back on target and gets the next missile off. Still nothing. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Got him. Can't lock him. Can't lock him. Where is he? He's hiding in those mountains. We're going to have to defend. I knew it. See? Couldn't get that lock. I tried. Radar saw him, just couldn't lock him up for some reason. Now this is a hell of a defense here because he's pretty close. Luckily the MiG-29 is fast so I can escape situations like this. And we're going to go ahead and recommit. We're still alive so we dodge that AMRAM. Let's find him. There he is. Fox 1 again. 
and we'll defend. Okay, this time I think... Oh, no, he did fire at me. <laughs> I was going to say maybe I, I got the missile off and he didn't. Try to maintain lock as long as I can because I have to force him to defend too. But if I hold it for too long, his Amram will hit me. I should be good, but I know where he is. He's off in this. His direction right here, this one. You can see the missile trail kind of leading me to him as well. He's around here somewhere. He might have peeked behind that mountain or... There he is. He's right there. Pretty close too. Yep, Fox 1. I don't know what's going on with that missile, but it has no track. It's just completely dead. Even though I have a lock right here. So we'll give him another one. Fox 1 again, and if this one doesn't hit, I gotta go to Fox 2's, but this one's tracking. And it's tracking very well, and if I was him, I would be defending. There's the flares. He's probably panic flare and chaffing. Yeah, that's gonna hit him, yeah. <laughs> that looks like a hell of a fireball. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll fly the Hornet now. We'll take on the MiG with this missile. It might be fun. Maybe not, considering how he just disintegrated. <laughs>
the thing about the mountains too is you can defeat missiles but you can also ruin his situational awareness because he can't see you you can poke out of anywhere and if you have data link you might be able to put that some use but i can actually see his missile the rwr tone has gone away so i know he's lost lock data link says he's seven miles that way but i don't see him and there we go, got him. He's off to the left little Amram, hoping that that Amram can make the turn, but it might be asking a lot. Okay, missile just exploded in the air like that. Okay, looks like we might be going to the merge, but I'm very defensive here against this MiG-29. There's another one he's fired. I'm breaking hard into him, hoping that missile can't turn, and it can't. Reverse the turn, we are merged. Trying to take him one circle, make sure he doesn't get a missile off. Trying to get yeah, okay. There we go. He's got a missile off. Oh, that went just underneath me. Oh wow, that was lucky. Very lucky to have survived that. Trying to get tone for this 9x. Managed to dump a lot of my speed. Got tone. He's in the sun. Wait for it. Fox 2. There we go. That's tracking. He's going to die for sure. Splash. Whew. Got him with a little bit of luck. But that MiG-29 really gave me a run for my money. He had me defensive for almost the whole fight. 